morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Ah, it's been a while, it's been a while. I, I'm going to pick a job, we're going to get going, and then I'll tell you guys what I've been up to recently. It's been manic, it's been really madness, it really has. Let's see, have we got anywhere to a place we haven't been to before? No, no, no. Let's take that one, it looks interesting. Yeah, that'll do. Loading. Ah, I don't know why. I don't know why we're parked here, but never mind. Let's move on. Move on. So, hello everybody. How are you all? I do admit I have missed doing the old Uber truck. It's been a good couple of weeks at least since I did an episode. We should have had the convoy by now. But one thing led to another. Stop, Tildy. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Turn Tildy, go Tildy. Take that job, thank you. Packed glass, eh? Good old pack glass. Oh, that one all the way at the end. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Let's pick this up then, and then we'll be on our way. Just bound it down, load it up and truck in. We're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go. Yeah, yeah, you know the words. Boing. And there we go. Let's go, Tildy. This is gonna be a short episode, this one, purely because I wanna get back into the swing of things. I have been busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy doing what I hear you ask? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, season one, it's episode one or series one, whatever you want to call it, of the first proper full on Team Tuxedo Ultra Hardcore on the Minecraft server is underway. We're on, at the time of recording, episode three has gone up. It's been a lot of fun, actually. There's three teams of three. Me, Squirrel and Lark. Murtai, Mike and DF. Alzaraf, Chris and Whip. And it's been a huge blast. It's been really, really encouraging hearing everybody's responses to it so far. We are going to be doing another recording at the end of July. So if you're enjoying Ultra Hardcore, it's all good. There's going to be more on the way. I promise you now. Um... So where have I been? Yeah, I mentioned Ultra Hardcore. Well, I've been... I, I, most of the time I've been away has been spent making a shiny animated intro for it with a program called Minimator. It's very good, actually. It's for considering it's a, 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 a beginner program for... beginners. I think the results I got from it have been pretty good. I've got no objections to it. I mean, I'm sure I could do better with a bit more time and patience, but, you know, when you've got a full-time job, and your YouTube's essentially a full-time job as well, and you want to do little projects like a 3D intro, something has to give way, and YouTube had to give way for a bit. You may have noticed a general lack of videos anyway. Oh! Oh! How are we looking? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Did I mention the car pass its MAT? Changing subject? I think I mentioned the car pass its MAT. If not, I'm mentioning it now. The car pass the MOT. Flying colours. Whee! Straight through. Should be a nice easy pass next year as well. Touch wood. But Ultra Hardcore, we've all been enjoying it. The guys want to know when we can go again, so we've set a date, we're gonna go have some fun. Strangelands. Let's talk about Strangelands while we're on the subject of Minecraft. Strangelands has um, started picking up in pace a bit. I had a treasure hunt recently, thanks to Dr. Brian Logon111. He hid a zombie underneath some grass somewhere, just underneath the surface, so you could hear him groaning. And so, um, yeah. I found the zombie and I went on a massive wild treasure hunt. Had a great laugh. Thank you again, Brian. Much appreciated, matey. 
the video for that is up on my channel about a week ago and there's also a video of how Brian set up the entire challenge in the first place. Here's the fun part though, his clues were a bit too subtle. He hid the zombie three months ago. And we've told him next time, that, mm, try not to make it that subtle. And I hope he takes it on board. I do. But it was good fun, we found some decent loot. And then unfortunately, mod happened. Mod had an accident. Oh shit. Yeah, Mod had a ac slight accident. As in, he, um... Did you know that when you hold shift or never rack, it doesn't apparently work? Because that's how I fell into lava. And I lost all my nice enchanted items. I was quite happily running around bragging. I finally got I'm diamond armor. I finally got it all enchanted. I finally got two diamond picks. One fortune, one silk touch. I finally got this, finally got that. Woo! And then I died three times in the same day. All because I was looking for blaze rods. And then when it's all done and dusted, Blitz comes along and says, Hey, mod, just so you know, there, um, there was a uh, blaze, blocks, blaze spawner just by the desert t um, portal. Bollocks. Thanks, mate. Now you tell me. Oh, shit happens. Me and fault. I can't go blaming anybody. Nor would I like to. And in other news, uh, relating to Strange Lands, somebody killed Maruka's snow golem in his uh, snow lodge. So I decided to help him out. I got him a new snow golem, and I realised this golem was lonely, so I gave him some friends. Keep an eye out for that one in the next few days. Keep an eye out for that one, because that's a lot of fun to set up. I can't say any more than that right now. Although, I'd, I'd love to. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to. But, yes. What else is there? Um, F1. F1 is probably on temporary hiatus. Watson's got major computer issues, but only with regards to F1 2013. The only game that crashes on him is 2013, and it usually happens about two laps from the end of the race. And it's very fucking annoying, because... We're so close to the end of the championship. We've got one race in Abu Dhabi. We want to get Abu Dhabi out of the way and done with because it's the last 25% distance race. The, 20, the, dis, the percentage is relate in relation to the full distance. So we run 25% of the full Grand Prix distance usually. But the last two races are 50%ers, which are double what we normally do, and as such we decided our double points. And the last two are Austin and Brazil. Brazil's my choice. I like Brazil. I might actually do some practice on Brazil. Might. Nearly lost it there. Whoops. So, to keep us busy in the meantime, we, um... We had some frame rate issues today. Shit. So, to keep us, um, busy in the meantime, we've had a couple of test races with Mr. Simon Parsons, who we are hoping will join us as part of the fourth team. Hope thing. Cross fingers. Other Tuxedo stuff. 4040 has put up a very fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very fun Kerbal Space Program video. I'm gonna crash again. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't see the toll booth because the sat nav was covered up with a stupid message. Bloody hell. Sorry, Tildy. Poor girl. Poor, poor girl. Where were we? Hey, 4040 Kerbal video. I challenged him to make a... a nice little summer house, complete with balcony, stairs, all that jazz, two floors, and challenged him to land it at the North Pole without parachutes. And you'll have to go watch his video to find out. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed the outcome. Like I said, I can't possibly tell you what it was, but yeah, it's good fun. Let's talk about non tuxedo stuff now. Let's talk about Alzaraf. Alzaraf, who's been on here before, he's good fun actually. I'm sure you may have picked up on that hint a few times, but Alzaraf's been getting into his pixel animation. Go check out his channel as uh, he's made a nice little 8 bit style animation of himself. I think it's the best way of describing that one himself. 
walks around from one side of the screen to the other, waves at the camera. Yeah, very impressive, very impressive. Certainly a lot more impressive than the 3D stuff I've done for the Ultra Hardcore intro. I mean, the Ultra Hardcore stuff is just a case of move to a keyframe, move a couple of limbs. This, you have to properly draw each individual frame. Or maybe you can edit bits of the frame, but you still have to take it into context of the rest of the frame. At least with 3D stuff, the previous frame, you can scroll back to easily. With 2D, it's not as easy as that, in my opinion. Hey, oh, what's that closed off for? How rude. Pop. Still no damage on the trailer. Very happy about this. Very happy about this fact. Come along. Move. Why are my brakes not working today? Oh shit. Roll. Why did I just go and kick the mouse? Are you rolling back? I thought I were rolling back then. Let's talk about charity. Last time I spoke to you guys, I think we were on £815. Thanks to the kindness that is Chris... Where am I going to get around the corner? Thanks to the kindness that is Chris Viking. £815. That's fantastic. It really is. Justgiving.com slash mod1982 if you want to make a donation. You don't even need a PayPal account. Oh, screenshot the shit out of that. Where are we going now? Straight on, is it? Nope. Wrong button. Yep, it is indeed straight on. Too busy faffing about taking screenshots. <laughs> Come on, mod. Come on. Keep your head in the game, son. This weekend just got... On. We, me and Murtai went to the Download Music Festival at Castle Donington. It was alright. Saw a few bands. Within Temptation were disappointing. Linkin Park were fantastic. Blackstone Cherry turned up spontaneously to play a random half hour set and we loved that. That was brilliant. Probably highlight of the festival for me. I don't think any other bunch of fans in the world interacts half as much as Blackstone fans do. It's it's just great. And the best bit about Blackstone Cherry is they just they do love what they're doing. I think uh, someone tried to moan about people taking cameras into gigs to video stuff and Blackstone like, really? They're going to kick off about that? You can record us, we don't give a fuck, we're here to put on a show, not to make money out of you. I love that attitude. And when they say we love coming to download, when they do stuff like uh, being the mystery act and coming into the UK a day early to play a download, it does make me think they do actually genuinely like it, whereas some guys are like, Oh yeah, we like playing at Download, it's like the best festival ever, we love the response we get from the fans, if it wasn't for the UK fans we wouldn't be where we are now. Uh huh, yeah, I heard that so many times from so many other bands, but only with Blackstone do I think I believe it. Hmm. Oh, you're going to try and pull out us, aren't you? No? Okay, cool. I think Blackstone Cherry rapidly becoming my new favourite band, and the new album's fantastic. Unlike the new Linkin Park album, which uh, all the good tunes they released before the album came out. We're talking Guilty or the Same and Rebellion. I think there's one tune on the album that I enjoy that isn't publicly available, shall we say? And it's I think it's called Line in the Sand. I like it. I do like it, but it there's more. The peaks are fantastic on the Hunting Party album. The peaks are great, but the lows are not quite as bad as the Thousand Suns album, but not far off. It's probably their second worst album that they've properly released. I mean, obviously you got Meteora. No, my favourite is yeah, my favourite is Meteora. Then Hybrid Theory. Then Living Things. Then you got to Minutes to Midnight, which is which is a decent album actually. And then you got Hunting Party, and finally, Thousand Sons. Fucking Thousand Sons is shit. I hate Thousand Sons. The Linkin Park set was good. Uh, what else did we hear at Download? By the way, if you don't like what I listen to, guys, fair enough. 
respect, if you could be kind enough to respect my choice in what I listen to in my spare time, I'm more than happy to respect what you listen to in yours. And that, I don't think enough people have enough respect for other opinions in music these days, if I'm honest. Not enough respect for musical taste. I mean, I'm lucky with most of the fans I've got, because most of the fans I've got do actually tend to listen to a lot of the music that I listen to anyway. But you do get the odd guys out of there going, Nah, Linky Park shit, man. Okay, fine. And that's your opinion. What do you listen to? It's not my cup of tea. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're shit, but it's not my preference when it comes to music. I mean, it can't be music can't be that popular. Music can't be that shit for people to like it. You know, it's just you know. So it's not necessarily shit. It's just it doesn't float your boat, and it does grate my goat just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, don't mind me I'm trying to concentrate on not crashing into this BCP wagon behind us. Behind us? In front of us. Oh, that's something I could talk about. I have a real life friend who's a truck driver now. He has been driving trucks for a week. Hello, Carlos. You may have heard Carlos in the background of some of our F1 videos. Oh, in Mike's perspective. Because <laughs> Carlos is funny. But, um. Carlos driving for a week and already pranked his lorry. He drove it into a loading bay and stuffed the trailer a little bit. Broke a light and I think the actual trailer is okay. It's just electric fuck up. The, the light with you know the, the lights being broken. Can we go yet? Can we go? Can we go? No. And there's another lorry coming anyway. What about now? Can we go? Can we go? Yes. Still yes. And done. But thinking of particular tastes and whatnot, I don't like football. I don't think football's shit. Now, Justin Bieber, he's shit, and I don't get why little girls like him. And football can't be that shit because I, mean, I do see the charm in football. I do see why people like it. So. When I ask you all nicely to keep the World Cup off my channel, no one said anything about the World Cup yet, but if anybody asks me anything about the World Cup, I'm just going to ignore you. I have no interest in this time of year. Especially when you get people coming out the closet like, Oh, I watch England matches all the time. Really? When was the last time you watched one? The last World Cup. Really? Fuck off. You should be patriotic all the time, not when the rest of the country tells you to be patriotic. Once every four fucking years. God. That's something that pisses me off about the World Cup. It really does. I mean, England matches get played on TV quite a bit in this country. When they come on. And, okay, they're only friendlies, but they do come on the telly. And so when people turn around and say, Oh, I watch it only when the World Cup's on. Why would you protect... Oh, fuck off. You're just doing it for an ex... You're just pretending to be a fan now, so you can have an excuse to get out of work for... Wait, wait. This is a really urgent delivery? We're doing alright, aren't we? Haven't taken piss too much. Oh, the trailer's slightly damaged. 1 hour 53 minutes. Oh, that's okay. We're fine. We're fine. But yeah, it just annoys me. And I'm sure it's the same with other countries as well. People just pretending to support their team just so they can have a few minutes break. Luckily in this country, the World Cup doesn't actually screen during normal working hours. So we're, we're quite safe from that. It's probably also why so many people have been rather quiet over their fanaticism, shall we say, over the England team. Because it's certainly been a lot quieter than the last World Cup. I haven't seen as many flags. And just just you wait until in England get through to the next round. Then everyone will be England flags everywhere. No, no, just no. So yeah, there we go. That's the World Cup done. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Don't care what country you're from. I don't care for the World Cup. Ah! Yeah. Let's just... I didn't do it. He did it. Let's just get this bloody job parked, shall we? Excuse me, Mr. Lorry, I'm coming in front of you. You're going to T-bone me. No, you actually slammed your brakes on. Good boy. Good boy. Do -do -do. We'll have a longer job next time, I think, guys. 
But right now I just wanted to get something done, just to get mileage on the clock, because we're two weeks behind. I do not want to be doing this million mile challenge forever. I'm parked. Good work, 200 miles added to the clock. For a total of 37,794 miles. On that note, thank you very much for watching guys. I've been Mod. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up. If you think your friends might enjoy this, please share it with them. Dream big and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.